Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this spring seed beads flower bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. I'm using the herringbone stitch and I have clear instructions and you could also ask me anything in the comments. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video in this way you help me so much and you make me do more and more beautiful tutorials. Down there in description check what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Thank to all of you that support me as members and now without further ado I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads and I'm using light green, pink, dark green and yellow and here I'm also using a clasp and a jump ring for the bracelet. Here what I use is a monofilm and that is 0.006 inches or so 0.15 millimeters. You could use similar size. And by the way, down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. And you will also see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. And this is size 10 beading needle, you could use size 11 or 12 to be easier for you. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle but later guys I will need to add more thread and I'll be back. Okay guys and now what I want to do is pick up two green beads and two pink beads. Okay. This is what I have on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. And here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling. Okay. Now this is what I have and I want to exit through these two pink beads in this direction. Now I have this. In my next step guys what I want to take are four pink beads. Okay I'm taking my four and what I do is that I go back in circle through these two beads and in this way I will make a circle of six. And then what I want to do is reinforce this circle. Okay, now I will go through one of those pink beads. Then I'm going to take a yellow bead just like this and I'm going in the opposite pink bead. How I find the opposite? I'm counting one, two, three, I go through the third one and I go in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. You see my thread is pointing in this direction and I'm going through the opposite one in the same direction. Okay. Now I have this flower. Now what I want to do guys is go one more time around this flower. And I want to exit here through these two pink beads. You see I have a pink and two pink and two green beads that I started with and I just went through the two pink beads you see and I'm going to take three dark green beads at this stage okay and I go here 
Okay. Now I have this and I'm going to take two light pink beads and I go here in the pink one like this. Then I go back here through these two light green beads. Okay. Then I want to take two light green beads. Okay. And I go like this. Then in this direction. And now I want to take a pink and a green. And I want to go here in this green one. Like this. And then backwards in this green and pink. And I will repeat the same thing. I will take one pink and one green. And I'm going here through this green. And then I will go backwards through these two pink beads. Okay. Here what I want to do is another flower. Okay, I take four pink beads. Okay. And I'm going back through these two pink beads like this. Now I'm going to reinforce this joint here. And I will add one yellow bead in the center as I did before. I'm going through the opposite bead and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Now I have this. In my next step guys, what I want to do is go back here in this direction through all of those beads. And I want to exit through this green bead here, dark, the dark green, this one. Okay. Then I'm going to take one green bead and I'm going to take my earring finding and I will go through it and slide those down. Okay, this is what I have. Then I'm going to take three dark green beads and I will go through these two light greens in this direction and through the next dark green. I went through the first light green, then I'm going through the second one and through this dark green here. And I want to reinforce this joint. And after I reinforce it, what I want to do is go in this direction. And now here guys, at this point, what I want to do is take three dark green beads. And as I'm exiting through the pink bead here, I'm going through this green. Now I have this. In my next step guys, I want to continue with a herringbone stitch. 
I want to have six rows of herring bones. You see here, I also have six. One, two, three, four, five, six rows. And now I have two, this one and this one. So what I want to do is make four more rows. Okay, and I'm taking two light green beads. Okay. Go here. Then two more light green beads. And I go back through those. What I want to take is one pink and one light green. And I go here. Then I go back. Okay, I have this. Then another pink and another green. And I go back. Then here, what I want to do is another flower. Okay, I'm going to take four beads. Okay. And I go back. I reinforce. And I add the center of my flower. Now, what I do next is that I want to go here, guys, and add my green tree, dark green beads. Okay, here, go through the pink, go through the green, like this. And then add these dark, three dark green beads. Okay. Go like this. Now you have this. And I will continue with the same thing. I think you got the idea up to here, but I'm going to be showing you one more time in this direction what I do. So, in every step I have six rows of herringbone. Here I already have one which is pink and one which is green. Now, at this stage I'm going to add two light green beads. Another two light green beads. And then I'm going to make a, a flower. And for the flower, I need to add a green and a pink and a green and a pink. If you are confused where from which side to add your flower, add it in this direction where you started your bracelet from. Okay, so the green is in this direction and the pink is in this direction. And always do this until the end. Okay, the pink is from the side that you started your bracelet from. Okay, and now I'm here. Here I could add these three dark green beads before I make my flower. Because I'm here anyways, in a position to add them. 
and now what I want to take are again four pink beads and I'll show you how I'm making a flower but this time faster. Okay guys and now I'm here and you know how to continue you need six rows of herringbone here so I already have two pink and green add two greens more and then add pink and a green twice and the pink ones should be in this direction where your clasp is and when you make them make a flower and add this tree then start in the other direction the same thing and in the other direction the same thing and when you have the desired length of your bracelet i'll be back to show you how to finish it okay guys and you see as i continue beading this is what i have i will show you one more time how, how i'm doing the whole process now i need two rows with light green beads, two rows of herringbone okay now I need a pink and a green two rows and I add the pink one at this side where the beginning of my bracelet is where my clasp is, this side okay Now I need to make a flower like I showed you several times before. to add the last three beads dark greens and here guys what I need to take is my jump ring and what else I'm going to take are five green beads and I'm going to take my jump ring and I'm going back through these two light green beads backwards I went through one of them then I'm going through the other one and I want to reinforce here this joint okay and I reinforced it and now what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and how I'm going to make my knot guys 
I'm making here a loop and I'm going once then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I make sure I'm between those two bits where I started the knot from and I pull then in my next step what I want to do is go through some bits it doesn't matter in which direction wherever it's easier for you and after that I cut my thread and my bracelet guys is ready and what I wanted to tell you about this bracelet is that you should pay attention that the beads in the center of the flowers to pop up in one direction which will be the front of your bracelet okay and it looks like a life I like it so much because the flowers move beautifully and look like a life I like it really so if you also like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't and uh, you also help me a lot by liking sharing and commenting and you could also check description for full list of materials paypal link for donations link to the social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials and also see what you get if you decide to become a member which now is a course of five videos plus the other perks Okay, thank you so much for watching and bye-bye from me.